In a world where many of us clock in and clock out of a corporate grind, where life seems more like a checklist of societal expectations than an adventure, the desire to break free often simmers beneath the surface. But for many, the thought of shaking off the shackles of convention and truly owning life seems like a distant dream. Mickey Agrawal refused to be one of the many. She thirsted for something more, the chance to live life on her terms, to challenge the status quo, and to immerse herself in experiences that truly matter. She yearned for an existence shaped not by societal norms, but by her passions, values, and aspirations. The idea of doing cool shit became her rallying cry a mantra for a life that's as audacious as it is empowering. In this summary, you'll embark on an exciting journey of self-discovery and explore what it truly means to do cool shit. You'll learn to redefine the pursuit of your dreams aligning them not just with external success, but with a deeply personal sense of fulfillment and meaning. You'll discover how to dream better, how to devise an existence that echoes your authentic self, and how to manifest your best life. Your life isn't just meant to be lived, it's meant to be savored, shaped, and celebrated. Your journey toward doing cool shit starts now. Chapter 1 Embracing Change and Deviation The path to personal growth and new opportunities When she was in college, Mickey Agrawal seized an opportunity to study abroad and embarked on an enlightening journey. To sell the idea to her parents, she treated it like a business proposal. And this was her first lesson, presenting ideas in a manner that highlights mutual benefits is key to earning approval. Soon, she was headed to London, driven by academic pursuits and a desire to immerse herself in a different culture. In London, Mickey made an unconventional choice. Instead of sticking to her tour group during a bike ride, she joined some local Brits playing soccer. This experience emphasized another lesson, step away from the crowd and embrace the unknown when the opportunity presents itself. From her adventures, Mickey crafted a simple yet effective three-step approach to connect with strangers. First, dress to impress a unique outfit can be a conversation starter. Second, smile genuinely and generously. Finally, be armed with conversation icebreakers like a funny joke or a thought-provoking question. But Mickey's experience in London wasn't all sunshine and roses. She found herself in a degrading internship at a PR firm, stuck with tasks that added no value to her personal growth. This experience echoed something she'd already learned with her parents, all aspects of life relationships, work, even purchases should be mutually beneficial. When she noticed she wasn't gaining anything from the PR internship, she decided to leave. This move eventually led her to a rewarding stint at the House of Lords. Mickey's journey taught her to trust her gut, cut ties with toxic situations, and seek out those who inspire and uplift. There are some steps you can follow to facilitate these same changes in your own life. First, grab a piece of paper and draw a line down the middle, so you have two columns. On one side, list the people, relationships, and activities that inspire you. On the other, list those that drain your energy. For instance, if a certain friendship leaves you feeling stressed or if a hobby no longer brings joy, they belong in the drain column. After that, actively work on eliminating or reducing the energy drainers from your life. This might mean having difficult conversations or making tough decisions, but remember, it's for your overall well-being. Finally, prioritize and engage more with the positive elements. If painting uplifts you, devote more time to it. If a certain person always leaves you feeling positive, spend more time with them. These actions show the immense potential of deviating from the norm. It's a path that can open up fresh opportunities and create meaningful relationships and networks. So, step out, embrace the uncertainties, and get ready for a life-changing journey. Your next chapter is waiting. Chapter 2 Daring to Dream, Navigating Hurdles and Pursuing Passions Against All Odds The aftermath of September 11th was a life-altering period for Mickey. A profound realization dawned upon her, life is ephemeral, and she needed to live hers on her own terms. 
Fueled by this newfound clarity, she wrote down her dreams to play soccer professionally, create films, and launch her own business. Her first stop was exploring opportunities in women's soccer leagues. Even though Mickey lacked the requisite experience, she didn't let that deter her. Her 9-to-5 banking job was another hurdle, as minor league tryouts required her to leave work early. But for Mickey, that just meant getting her employers on board. She confronted her managing director with a heartfelt plea about following her dreams and ended up making a convincing case. Mickey's approach offers valuable advice for those trying to manifest their dreams. First, seek out the kindest, most understanding person in a position of power in your organization. Make sure you have their undivided attention. Next, ask specific questions and provide precise information about dates and times for what you need. Third, assure them that their interests are still a priority to you. Finally, request their blessing this will help them empathize with your passion and dreams. Remember, the key is to stay committed to your promises, both to yourself and to others. The journey from a conventional job to following your passion is filled with risks, but it can be immensely rewarding. Treat your existing responsibilities with respect to ensure a smooth transition and thoroughly train your replacement or hand over tasks diligently. In Mickey's case, her soccer venture didn't pan out as hoped. But she persevered and took a shot despite the odds. Her journey demonstrates the importance of chasing your dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem. You might be pleasantly surprised by the outcome if you muster the courage to ask for what you truly want. And as life throws unexpected curveballs, it's vital to keep going. Mickey suggests taking a leaf out of MacGyver's book and creatively navigating your challenges using the resources at hand. Embracing the twists and turns of life is an essential part of your journey, after all, they're the pathways to growth and self-discovery. Chapter 3 Discovering Your Calling, The Intersection of Passion and Skill After a foray into professional soccer and an exit from her banking job, Mickey found herself at a crossroads. It was a moment to pause, reflect, and consider what direction her life should take next. She described this as the IEX internal examination. Instead of rushing into any opportunity that knocked on the door, a method that could lead to burnout, Mickey emphasized the importance of introspection to discover a path more in tune with her aspirations. Her self-exploration began with two pivotal questions. The first was, what am I genuinely good at? This query went beyond professional abilities and delved into personal strengths as well. For Mickey, her list of competencies extended from sports and fitness to marketing, business, writing, languages, and building connections. These were the areas she could potentially leverage in her future endeavors. The second vital question was, what am I passionate about? Here, she strived to match her interests with her dreams. Mickey's deep-seated love for storytelling and films emerged as a beacon, guiding her toward the film production industry. After navigating initial hurdles and several shifts in her role, Mickey recognized that freelancers in the film industry had higher earning potential and decided to embrace the uncertainties associated with striking out on your own. Her passion, combined with unrelenting hard work, facilitated her rapid rise within the industry's ranks. Finding your life's calling is a journey steeped in self-discovery. So ask yourself the questions that Mickey asked. Consider the problems you've adeptly solved, the unique contributions you've made in your previous workplaces, and your specific skill set. Try to bridge these areas with activities that bring you joy. Think about the kind of work that would make you feel proud. Once you discover what you're good at and what you're passionate about, it's time for the application phase. But Mickey's journey was far from over. Her skills and passions were about to guide her into a new realm, business. Let's explore how Mickey took a bold idea and made it a tangible reality. Chapter 4 Turning Passion into Action Four Steps to Bring a Business Idea to Life After her adventures in the film industry, Mickey Agrawal was ready for a new challenge. 
Her journey took an unexpected turn when she discovered the alarming practices in America's dairy industry, hormones are pumped into cows to increase milk production. As a pizza lover, this discovery was unsettling, it made her stomach turn with each slice she consumed. Her predicament sparked an entrepreneurial fire within her. There were hardly any decent alternatives in the market, and it was time to change that. She envisaged a different kind of pizzeria, one that aligned with her values. And to go from her vision to a tangible, successful business, Mickey devised a four-step approach. The first step involves diving into the research. Mickey immersed herself in the world of pizza and natural foods. Google, with its endless wealth of information, proved an indispensable companion. She sought to understand the dynamics of her chosen industry inside out. The next step is to engage your network. Mickey discussed her idea with savvy individuals from diverse sectors. Each person provided valuable insights that helped crystallize her idea further. She asked specific questions about her envisioned restaurant's look, menu, the necessary capital, and the ideal location. When brainstorming, it's crucial to surround yourself with knowledgeable people. The third step is to find a mentor and shadow them. Mickey gained invaluable, hands-on experience by shadowing a successful restaurateur she was introduced to through a mutual acquaintance. She observed his operation closely, absorbing lessons and insights. Never underestimate the power of learning from someone who's already traversing the path you wish to walk. The fourth and final step is to assess the demand. Mickey confirmed her hunch about the market gap for a hormone-free pizza place through surveys. By seeking feedback from potential customers, she confirmed the viability of her idea. Armed with knowledge, a refined idea, practical experience, and confirmation of demand, Mickey was ready to actualize her dream. Over seven months, she raised seed money, meticulously planned her branding, and secured a prime location. Mickey's journey underlines that turning a business idea into a flourishing reality requires well-targeted questions, strategic planning, patience, and a relentless drive. But she also discovered that community is a crucial component of entrepreneurial success and of being able to do the cool shit you want to do. In the final section, you'll learn how Mickey found her tribe and the impact it had on her life. Chapter 5 Embracing Community How to Build and Nurture Your Tribe Mickey remembers the many birthdays, games, and moments shared with her family and friends throughout her childhood. These formative experiences laid the foundation of her tribe, highlighting the fact that achieving remarkable endeavors is tightly knit with cultivating a robust community. As an analogy, Mickey cites the example of the Burning Man Festival. This annual event, which began in 1986 with just a few attendees, has expanded into a thriving community of hundreds of thousands affirming people's inherent tendency to seek togetherness. Larry Harvey, the co-founder of this festival, laid out ten principles that embody the spirit of a strong community. The first principle, radical inclusion, promotes the idea that everyone belongs. Then there's gifting, which emphasizes unconditional giving. Decommodification advocates for an environment devoid of commercial sponsorships, encouraging genuine relationships. Radical self-reliance is about nurturing your inner resources. Radical self-expression allows everyone to showcase their unique identities. Communal effort celebrates cooperation and collaboration, fostering collective growth. Civic responsibility shows the importance of public welfare. Leave No Trace advises us to respect and protect our environment. Participation encourages everyone to be active contributors, not just spectators. And last, immediacy promotes living in the present moment and cherishing our natural surroundings. Among these principles, a general message stands out, achieve being through doing. This profound sentiment suggests an enriching way of life that urges us to be present, engaged, and proactive. 
There are a few simple things you can do to put these principles into practice. Rejoice when you meet your tribe members, encourage everyone to share their unique stories, choose deep conversations over small talk, value everyone's presence, strive to bring out the best in each other, uphold honesty, and stimulate creativity and helpfulness. Building the right community, as Mickey did, is about more than just surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. It's about creating an inclusive, supportive, and expressive environment that allows everyone to flourish. Remember, the essence of doing cool shit is not just about the output, it's also about the journey, the process, and the people you share it with. So raise a toast to shared experiences, collective growth, and exciting new adventures. Final summary daring to diverge from convention can lead to personal growth and unanticipated opportunities, as exemplified by Mickey Agrawal. Her life's journey embodies the courage to dream big, pursue passions, and use introspection to uncover strengths and interests. It demonstrates the power of turning ideas into action through diligent research, strategic networking, mentorship, and gauging market demand. It also highlights the importance of community in stimulating creativity and bringing out the best in one another. Your own extraordinary journey awaits when you dare to embrace change, pursue your dreams, and foster your tribe. So go ahead and start doing cool shit and build a life you love. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.